You know, one of the biggest things you hear people talk about today is uh, the difference in anglers that are really good and, and those that are up and coming. A lot of people can catch them, but finding them is really the hardest thing out here that we face every day. And one of the biggest things that I look back on throughout the course of my career is there's one thing that I can always depend on just about anywhere I go across the country is points and fishing points. Probably one of the biggest things I do, no matter if I'm cranking, throwing a jerk bait, throwing a spinner bait, throwing a football jig, if you fish enough points through the course of the day, you're finally gonna run into them. And there's not an easier way to cover water than just start running points up and down a lake. I mean, so many points are so different. I mean, you'd think a point's a point, and it really doesn't matter uh, you know, what's going on, but it really does matter. I mean, some of the points are long and flat. Some of them have channel swings that swing up close to them. And there's a variety of things that make some points better than other points. I mean, mixing up the wind, figuring out what depth the fish want to be at, and figuring out the right bait to throw is probably the biggest thing about creating a pattern, running it through the course of the day, and putting the most fish you can possibly catch in a live well. It's like I said, it's not about catching them. It's all about finding them. And points are the way to find more bass. There's a lot of days I'll take off running down a lake, looking for wind, chasing wind, and you'll be running down a lake and all of a sudden maybe you see some seagulls diving on a point, or maybe you see a heron sitting on the bank. I mean, those are the things that make a difference. I may run down a lake and if I see a heron sitting on a, on a point, I'm gonna stop and fish that point. I may only fish right there where that herring is, but he's not there just to be there. He's there because he knows bait's there. If there's herring there, there's gonna be bass there. Even if you don't catch him, you can run that pattern a number of times and it's gonna make a difference seagulls, any kind of bird that feeds on bait is a dead giveaway that there's something going on in an area and you need to pay it close attention. One of the biggest things you have to understand about points is really all points aren't created equal. I mean there's definitely those points that day in day out produce fish but probably one of the biggest keys that I'm going to look for is a point that has deep water coming up close to it and that's one of the biggest keys that I'm looking for is, is deep water close to a point. And I mean, if you look right here, I mean, and, and it doesn't necessarily have to be a visible point that you're throwing to the bank. A lot of times it's an underwater point, but right here, I mean, it's just clear as a bell that you've got a deep water little channel of gut coming out of the back of this pocket that swings up close to this point right here. And that's one of the key places to catch them up. Anytime you see those tight contours and you see things tighten up and you've got a good hard drop, those are the key places that you're gonna catch more fish. Like I said, whether you're cranking, spinnerbaiting, throwing a jig, it's all gonna come down to finding that little sweet spot on any point you happen to find.